<laughs> the weather is just perfect to put uh, a coat of paint on me. Hello. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do, my next superhuman feat, <laughs> is I'm going to put this uh, 6,000 pound drill press down on steel plates and I'm going to move it down here and I'm going to put it in front of the building there and then I'm going to build a roof over it. That's my great idea for today. But looking good here. It's been a little too hot to get that. Uh, get some paint on there. I got some awful drips and this really some rough casting. This this is a machine that had a lot of filler. And I could I don't know, put Bondo in it, but I'm not going to. I think it would be fine. I get some good drips and stuff. Well, I got some cool things going on with that uh, threading uh, with the follow rest inside. So uh, we'll go on inside and uh, take a look at that. Hey there. Hey, what I have here, this is uh, an old 18 and ball bearing uh, chuck that was damaged. It got hit and it's bent. But it got welded to this little plate here, and it's got the hole straight through. It's a three-quarter capacity, and I'm going to stick this uh, bolt in here and uh, work on it a little bit. See? Just tighten it by hand. It's like a vise. Let me turn this on here. Got a Ford on here. <laughs> I like these little things. And a piece of Norbide. Yeah, get that nice thing. I don't know if you can see that. I think I had it out. Just getting that uh, tip in it. <clears throat> on this uh, Norbite dressing stuff. So when I get in here, I cut the top of this. To fit it in a tight spot. So I gotta get it so you get an Allen wrench back in it. That's getting pretty close. Excuse me. Hope you're all doing good today. Weather's a lot more pleasant right now. Just something like that. I think that'll be fine. Okay, I'll be back.
Okay, I'm back here at this follow rest uh, setup I'm working on. And uh, this is the first time I'm setting it up on this machine. <laughs> and I've got it working, but I have to uh, make things work better. And uh, one of the problems I was having, let me grab this, was uh, getting this uh, larger tool post in and uh, into that tight area. So I can do this, and I took this piece of steel here that's uh, I've uh, modified for other things, and we'll get this over here, roll it in. Okay. Hit that there. See? Now, this uh, compound is uh, heavy enough to handle s stuff like this uh, to offset the tool, the whole tool post over. And uh, this can be taken a step or two further by uh, loosening both of these. Then see this thing can uh, actually, uh, within reason, swing into places like that, or even go the other direction, or uh, you can get into tight areas this way. I thought I'd show that. You know, of course, it'd be uh, more difficult to. Uh, get away with something like this on a wider machine. This this machine's heavy. But uh, this is kind of a, a thing you can do to uh, get around some of the uh, problems uh, using heavy machines too. But this of course would be for uh, lighter cuts. Finished cuts, just easy cuts. You know, you're not going to be hogging any metal. Now another thing is uh, the uh, Follow rust normally on this machine and uh, Monarchs would sit in the middle. And if you were uh, going to uh, turn the length of a rough piece of hot rolled steel, you'd want the finger, you'd want to first make a cut, then get the support finger on, on uh, the cut you made, then continue. Okay? Then after that, you could put it ahead of the cut if you want to. It just depends. So, if if the material's rough, you're gonna want you're gonna want to start it, and then uh, get it long enough so uh, you can get the uh, uh, follow rest behind, and then cut ahead, and then the then the follow rest will uh, support it. So it's sort of like centerless grinding too, where, where uh, hey, Chloe, come on in here. Uh, where the work supported and it be like a grinding wheel pushing against the support instead you have a single point cutter. So it, if things aren't working too good, it could be the angle and stuff like that. Hey, Chloe, come here, what you up to? Come here and say hello. Uh, she's trying to lure me out, take her out to the duck pond. Okay, I thought I'd show you that. And uh, we'll go see what she's up to. What you up to? What do you want to do? You want to go to the duck pond? Come here. Come here and say hello. These people want to say hi to you. Yeah, good morning. Good morning there. Yeah, she likes to go over and sniff around the duck pond a little bit. There's people in there, you know it. <laughs> okay, now uh, 
you guys have a have a good day if i see something on the way out of here i'll uh i'll video it but i'm going to get back on to that fall arrest and uh do some threading uh, operations on both the accent and the monitor 10 double e